Today we are going to discuss about a projectile. The question was asked in 2013 in IIT. Actually this question is, the projectile is projected at an angle 60 degree with a horizontal. What is kinetic energy and potential energy at the maximum height? They asked to find the value of kinetic energy as well as potential energy at its maximum height only. For example, this is the projectile. First, I will give the explanations and the solutions, all those things. At uh, last, I will give the um, shortcut method. Very, very shortcut method. It is very useful for your entrance examination point of view. Let us consider this is a projectile. This is a projectile. It makes an angle. 60 degree, 60 degree with a horizontal, 60 degree with a horizontal, with an initial velocity u. Let it be, this is the maximum height, the height of the projectile is, there is a maximum height, maximum height. What is the kinetic energy and potential energy? At its maximum height, they asked to find the value of kinetic energy as well as potential energy at its maximum height. Here, what is the kinetic energy and the potential energy? Actually, these type of questions are very important in tension uh, entrance examination point of view. First, you follow the method of solving. Uh, direct method of solving this particular problem, after that I will give a very fantastic uh, shortcut method. For example, let, it con let us consider this uh, point A, this is point B. Here what is the ki kinetic energy? The kinetic energy is of m u square. So kinetic energy that is called of m u square at this point. Okay? Then, if that projectile moves along this path, we can solve, we can resolve into two components. One is horizontal component and, and another one is vertical component. One is horizontal, for example, let us consider this particle here. This is what? Horizontal component as well as what? Vertical component. We can solve it. Here, Horizontal component, vertical component. We can solve. Each and every point, we can solve the, resolve the velocity into two components. One is horizontal as well as vertical component. For example, this is u cos theta. This is what u cos theta. This is what g. That is what v1. This is what v2. That means what? The horizontal component always constant, vertical component changes since that a vertical component of velocity depends upon the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. That means acceleration due to gravity changes from place to place. Vertical component changes, horizontal component constant. Here also the same manner, the horizontal component is constant. What's the value? U cos theta u cos theta. That's a horizontal component alone that, that is a horizontal component here what, that is a kinetic energy is what, of m v square, of m v square. What's the value of v here, that's only one component alone that, that is a horizontal component u cos theta. That is here what, that is instead of v, you can write u cos 60. That's angle of that is angle that which it is projected is 60 degree. Then what? What's the value of 60 degree? That is u 1 by 2, let it be 2. Problem is time, for example, cos 
So this is 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. Sine function 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, root 3 by 2, that is 1. Cos function 1, root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, that is 0. Here cos 60, that is 1 by 2. Cos 60 is 1 by 2. Just to put a 1 by 2 here, then u by 2. Then what will happen, the kinetic energy here, that is 1 by 2. M instead of b square here, that is u square by 2. Just to bring this u to here, then what will happen? That is 1 by 2 of m u square is nothing but initial kinetic energy, that is E. That's the initial kinetic energy u. That is V is equal to u cos theta square. If you make a square, that is u square by 4. Then this is what? You bring the 4 here. That is 1 by 2 m u square e. 1 by 4 here. That is 4 times 1 by 4 of that is kinetic energy at that particular point. 1 by 4 of this kinetic energy. What of the potential energy at that particular point? What is the formula for potential energy? Potential energy is what? That is the general formula you know. That is m g h. This is what maximum height, formula for maximum height. Let it be mg as it is. Then h is what? That is u square sine square theta, that is 16 by 2g. That you cancel the term, that is what? Yeah, gg getting cancelled. That is what? m alone there, u square sine 1 by 2 sin 60 1 by 2, that is what? 1 by 4. Whole thing divided by what? That is 2. Then again, this kind of division was mgh. Oh. Sin, sin 60, that is the root 3 by 2. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2, whole square. Then what will happen? That is all m u square 1 here 3 by 4 3 by 4 this is nothing but an energy that's a total energy at that particular point then this is what 3 by 4 then e at the maximum height kinetic energy is 1 by 4 of total energy at the maximum height potential energy is 3 by 4 of kinetic energy this, if you find this kinetic energy at that particular point, automatically we can find it in this value. How do we find it? The total energy, that is kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to constant, that is E here. The total energy is constant. Then you know the value of kinetic energy, 1 by 4 E plus potential energy, you are going to find it in a sh shortcut way. Then potential energy is equal to E E minus 1 by 4 E that is what 3 by 4 E that is 1 by 4 of total energy is kinetic energy 3 by 4 of total energy is potential energy at its maximum value at its maximum value okay I will follow. Okay. For example, if it is the case, instead of 60 degree, they provided that the angle is 30 degree. Angle of projection is 30 degree. What is the maximum value? The kinetic energy potential energy is at its maximum height. If they asked. Then what will happen? What will happen? If it is the case, the problem slightly changed, that the angle of projection I change, instead of 60, have written 30. The problem also changed, isn't it? Instead of 60, let it be 30. Cos 30 is what? Cos 30, root 3 by 2. 
that is u root 3 by 2 cos 30 root 3 by 2 then here is what just we change this value okay? 1 by 2 m b square that is u square 3 by 4 3 by 4 that's a kinetic energy at that particular maximum point since the angle is changed the whole thing is what that's the total energy then it's what 3 by 4 that's the total energy 3 by 4 is the total energy 3 by 4 total energy then what of the potential energy at its maximum height when the angle is changed uh, is 30 degree. Then this is for 60. 60 changes to 30. 60 changes to 30. Then sin 30, 1 by 2. We take the 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Then its value is 1 by 4. Then 1 by 4 of that's a total energy. So very simple technique. Only thing is you change the angle. What's the maximum? That's a, what's the potential energy and kinetic energy at its maximum height. If you change the angle. Let's see if it is a 30 degree. If it is 30 degree, the kinetic energy is 3 by 4 of total energy. Potential energy is 1 by 4 of kinetic energy. The net energy is always constant. 3 by 4 E plus 1 by 4 E always this is constant. That will understand. In the same manner, just you change the angle here. 30, 45, let it be 45, let it be 45, let it be 45. Then again, cos 45, cos 45, 1 by root 2, let it be 45. 45 cos 45 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 then here is what that is b square u square 1 by 2 then this is what 1 by 2 the total energy that means you change the angle instead of 60 this is 45 then uh, kinetic energy is 1 by 2 total energy then potential energy is what? This is 45. Sin 45 is what? Sin 45, 1 by root 2. Again, that 1 by root 2. Square. Then what's value? That is what? 1 by 2. That is the half of the total energy is kinetic energy. Half of the potential energy, uh, half of the total energy is potential energy. Then the angle is 45. That means a simple problem. The only single problem provides so many ideas and the techniques to solve this one. Only thing is just to remember the basic concept. Then what's the maximum kinetic energy? What's the uh, kinetic energy potential energy at its maximum point, maximum height of the project? They are asked. By changing the angle, by changing the angle, that is a 45, 60. 30 by changing the angle, whatever may be the angle, just to put it in a regular format, you can get your answer like this. Potential energy as well as kinetic energy or equally shared same value of the potential energy, of the kinetic energy at what angle? 45 degree. 45 degree. Then you ask to like this also. It's a simple problem. Just to analyze how this is happening. By analyzing, you can get more idea. Then these are the theoretical values. These are the theoretical values. Dear friends, just to follow the theoretical value in a clear cut manner to understand the concept. After that, I will give the small shortcut method. This is very useful. Without knowing the basic concept, without knowing the physics concept, you can solve the uh, question in an easy, short, tricks and techniques. Okay? Are you following? Yes, please. Listen here. 
This is a very, very interesting shortcut. That's why, actually, I was derived in this particular question, shortcut for this particular question. So, what interest you? For the examination point of view, entrance examination point of view, shortcut is must. Without shortcut, it's very difficult to solve the problem since uh, the, 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 it will take more, much, much more time. Here, then, very simple shortcut, let it be kinetic energy, potential energy. Here, angle 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. Like this, sin theta, cos theta. Sin 0, 0, sin 30, 1 by 2, sin 45, 1 by root 2, sin 60, root 3 by 2. Like this, I formulated. I formulated this one. For example, here, we are going to find the kinetic energy and potential energy at its maximum height of the projectile by changing the angle. Okay, first 0, let it be 0. 1 e by 4, e is the total energy. 2 e by 4, 3 e by 4, 4 e by 4. It's very easy, you know. It's a very shortcut, you know. It's a very interesting, you know. Dear friends, this is our way of study, studying for the entrance examination. How to study the entrance examination is the very interesting and beautiful thing. Dear friends, just you follow this one. For example, this is the 0 and 30 degree, 40 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree. This is the angle of projection. The angle of projection is 0. Angle of projection is 30. Angle of projection is 45. Angle of projection is 60. Angle of projection is 90. Let's we are changing the angle of projections. What's the kinetic energy? First we discuss kinetic energy. 0, 1, E by T. What is E? E is the total energy. E by 4. What is E? Total energy. 2 E by 4. 2 times. 3 E by 4. 3 times. 4 E by 4. 4 times. Just reverse this as it is here. Here. 4 E by 4 here. 3 E by 4 here. 2 e by 4 here, 1 e by 4 here, 0 here. What a beauty! What a beautiful shortcut method, no? Please listen. Kinetic energy, potential energy. And just you remember this one. e by 4 is a constant. 1, 0, 1 e by 4, 2 e by 4, 3 e by 4, 4 e by 4. Just reverse it. 4 e by 4, 3 e by 4, 2 e by 4, 1 e by 4. 0. Just reverse this here. This is a very short code. Whatever may be the technique, whatever may be the question asked in this particular problem, we can solve easily without knowing the basic concept, deviations, and the formula for the maximum height. You know, you don't know, no need. Formula for the, the initial energy, no need. Without knowing the basic uh, concepts, uh, we can find an answer, we can take the correct answer easy manner. For example, let it be. At the angle of projection is angle of projection is zero, kinetic energy zero, potential energy four e by four means maximum, that is E. Angle of projection is 30 means kinetic energy, potential energy at its maximum height is 1 e by 4, that is 3 e by 4. For example, angle of projection is 45. The kinetic energy, potential energy at its maximum height is 3 e by 4, 2 e by 4. For example, angle of projection is 60. The kinetic energy, potential energy at its maximum point is 3 e by 4, 1 e by 4. For example, the angle of projection is 90 degree through straight away. The time taken energy is 4 e by 4, maximum value. Potential energy is 0. This is the thing here. It's a very, very interesting shortcut. If I catch the shortcut too, then only I can put a next video. First, I am doing some sort of a external work to simplify all the physics problems in a shortcut way. For that, what do you have to do? Just you go to the description box and uh, uh, analyze some questions I have posted. Just analyze it and comment in, in the comment box.
Then only there may be interaction between you and me. And also, just you subscribe this particular channel. Why do we need, need to subscribe this particular channel? Then only we can communicate easily, we can interact easily, we can grow up in a better manner. Then I will put on more ideas and innovative things during the class presentations. For that, you be in touch by subscriptions. Just a subscribe. There is a very, very simple subscriptions. You go to the subscription, subscribe this particular channel that is a Seiko classes. Seiko classes. You can get more idea. Okay. This is a thing. It's a very interesting problem. I gave different types of uh, uh, techniques used in the base problems and also very, very, very interesting shortcut method I used here. All the best. Shall we meet next session?